because it's, it's very creative. Uh, but for now, we, I have to bring him back. But also he has to be up there too. He has to elevate his game in the national team because national team is not a club team. You know, we don't have time for everyday training. Mm. Uh, you come in, we have probably three, three, four training sections, and that's it. So if you come into the national team, you really want to focus and give me everything you have. But he's, he's around, he's, he's with us. Mm. Well, you, you, you called up um, Obi Nansofo and called, uh, and called um, um, Shola Melbi, and uh, we have uh, Uche Wonfo. These are some of the players making a return to the team. Why? What informed your, your, your choice of this team, particularly in the attack? Um, you see, so far is one of the players that I've liked, even when I was the national coach. I've been watching from distance, mm. so far, Osaze, uh, who else is there, that I really mm. like the way, you know, they punch in their, uh, their, their maximum input in the game. And I've tried to invite him, but most of the time it's either he's injured or he doesn't have uh, a visa mm. to mm. come to the game. Uh, but him and I, we spoke about uh, a week ago, and um, he told me, Coach, I'm ready. Anytime you call me, I'll be there. So I was very glad that he's also excited to come. And uh, I extended um, the um, invitation to him. Mm. Shola, Shola and I spoke, uh, you know, that you know what happened, happened, that he's so sorry. He has a new contract now that allows him to come. Yeah, and he's now. not just going to play friendlies <laughs> and not go to the main table I hope for not us. To. Well, we did talk about that, and he promised said, no, 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 this is for real. Uh, I'm coming, and I would love to represent my country. I said, okay, so he's there. Uh, Uche Mwafo. Uche Mwafo, I've known him when he was playing in Rangers. And I saw him play under 20 yeah. in Colombia or somewhere. Yeah, Colombia. And, uh, it's more like Rashid Yekini. Yeah, it's quick. Good with it's, the head. It's good with the head. It's quick. He score goals, and I've been watching him in um, yeah in Holland uh, league. Um, I said, let me just let's try and let's you give him a chance. Here, Why not? You know. Okay, let, let me take this one from uh, Shino Kileji because he had me uh, tweets uh, when we were doing our show, but he's tweeting tonight because the big uh, the big boss uh, Steve Keshi is there. He says, um, ask Keshi, Blatter's determination to move the 2022 World Cup from summer. To winter, may mean African teams will lose some advantage. Don't say 2022 is still far away that you want to think about 2014. This is happening now. <laughs> <laughs> the African players, well, it depends on the country where we're going to play this uh, um, winter World Cup because mm. if it's going to be Qatar. If, if, in Qatar, in Qatar is bloody cold. Mm. I've played in Qatar before, you know. Well, maybe we'll have <laughs> part, <laughs> which tower. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we'll see what happened there, you know. But uh, it's still debatable, right? It's not like it's confirmed. If I still work. It's still a long time, so anything can stitch in so, between now um, and then. Let me take this one. This one says, um, is particularly worried about our attack, as uh, was witnessed during the Confederations Cup. This is Ojuku Ogona. It says, um, what are you thinking about? What are you doing practically? to improve on our performance in that area of our play, our attack. We do well, well in defense, we do well in midfield, no score goals. Well, the good thing is uh, most of the attacking players are all coming back now. And uh, hopefully they will get... The, the good thing with this team is that we create chances. My problem is if mm. we don't create chances, then I get worried. But here, even, yes, we're not scoring goals, but we still create chances against teams like Spain, Uruguay, with what we have. That means uh, uh, the team is is almost there. But you know, having most of the players coming back now, hopefully DK from US is going to be back very soon, and then uh, we'll take it from there. But I think um, once these guys are back, we'll walk in front of the goal. Um, everything should be okay. Mm. Well, uh, Obizenas says um, he wants to thank you for making the Super Eagles competitive again and that you shouldn't respond to all criticisms. That's, that's another thing. They say you, you, you don't take criticisms too 
That's not true. That's not true. That's not true. The thing is, if you talk, don't don't talk bad about me because <laughs> you don't like my face. Okay. But speak the truth. Mm. You know, just say it the way it is, the way you say it. And why would I take criticism? I I live in a country where they criticize you all the time. You mm. know, so it's not it's not a big thing. But don't just come out here because. You can you take a pen and a paper, you think you can write and start. Hey, listen, my name, Keshi, is not my name. Stephen is my name. And if somebody Keshi, else is your dad's name. Exactly, it's my family name. Mm. And it's, if you start rubbishing Keshi's name in front of newspapers all over the world, I'll get angry with you. Okay, where do you want to criticize this? You just put Stephen. Why would you <laughs> <laughs> just put Stephen? Don't put, would, don't put the Keshi. Why would you want to criticize <laughs> Stephen? Mm. Because you want to criticize Stephen? Okay, mm. if it's that way, okay, do it that way. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but, but on, on a more serious note, this job is a high-pressure job. Um, how do you take it when people do not understand what um, your ideas are and what you are trying to do and it's completely misrepresented? But you have to know that because not everybody plays football. Mm. We all love football, but we don't know football. We love football, but mm. we don't know what it is. When it comes to the tactical, technical, positional play, we don't know what it is. So... We just want to see somebody run with the ball, and you know the thing. The, the mm. thing is, most people think um, when you say you go for training, is having these 22 guys on the field, throw one ball on them, and they okay, mm. start playing. That's training. No, there's more to that. There's more that you have to bring into that. That you know you have to um, get the best out of them, technically and tactically. So. Um, you listen to everybody, but you take the right thing. The constructive you know, ones. Exactly. Mm. Somebody is asking a question here that um, how much of Malawi um, do you know? Do you have information about Malawi? We are playing Malawi September um, in September, World Cup qualifier. It says um, how prepared are the Eagles and how much of Malawi do you know? The well, teams of Malawi. They, they play in the Kosafa Cup. Yeah, but it's not the same team. You know, okay. they play. They play with most of the home base players okay. and. <clears throat> but um, we know a little bit about them. Mm. Um, it's a team that works very hard, mostly in the midfield. They have one great left footer, number 10, who is their captain, current captain now. And we'll see, you know, they have a new coach and mm. uh, that will want to bring his own idea, his own philosophy into the game. And that might take a little bit of time for them to understand. That's Tom so, Senfi, and uh, yeah, exactly. you, you, you guys are already exchanging words on the pages of newspaper. He says he's coming here, hundred percent sure of winning. And I saw a paper report quoting you that uh, it's just a nice. Matter. I never said anything. <laughs> I don't. I never <laughs> said it. I never said. <laughs> well, liar, I never said anything. So. <laughs> I, 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 I saw a paper report that uh, Senfi is a is a noise maker. Yeah, maybe from Keshi. No, 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 no. I didn't say anything. And mm. you know, you see, that's the problem. Mm. You say Keshi said this, and I never said anything. You know, you, you, you know, mislead Nigerians, mislead people that this is what Keshi said. It's like the other day or two days ago, they said I was advising uh, Mikel Obi not to go to another club. I didn't say anything. I never talked to anybody. You know, you guys are funny, yeah, but <laughs> what can we do? We just have to. You have to be coming on my show more regularly so that Nigerians can hear it from your mouth. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll try. Okay, let, let me take this one because I know this question is always going to come up. Uh, big Boss. Somebody says, Big Boss, will Osaze ever play a game for the Super Eagles? Yes. Let me add, let me add, under Keshi. Yes. Yes, he will play. Well, well it might not be now, but he will play. 2014 World Cup, maybe. Why not? Why not? Because the, the thing, like, he told me was that 2010 World Cup, he played practically all the games. Mm. But during the World Cup time, he was on the bench. Well, it happened. He might not play. It's just like 1994. Mm. I mean, I never played any game with us. But he came in, started the game, cheating one of the same thing. So you never can tell. He, he might come in 2014 and be the, the, the star of the team, you know. So let's, let's see how it goes. Okay. This one says, um, uh, what is Keshi doing about instilling discipline in the big boys that talk too much. Which, which big boys? I, I, okay, let's, let, me, let me cut out the other part. What is Keshi doing about instilling discipline in the team? 
since I came on board, mm. I was still 